What's up guys, welcome to part two of this horrific blood and bone series. So we have a lot to do in this video, actually more than I expected. I played a lot off camera, not on this world. I played a little bit off camera on this world, but like I just tried to figure things out on my own world. And in that world, I figured out a lot of things that we can actually end up doing in this. So first of all, I got to figure out a way to get more flint and uh, okay, we do have dirt. But one thing that I figured out is that you have weight if you have blocks in your inventory. So I'm putting all of this in here because I don't want to be weighed down. All right, first priority, actually, before we do anything, I really need stone, and I'm not getting that cobble. I, it took forever for me to clear this out. It actually took ages. We have a few things that are important to do in this. No! Well, <laughs> yeah, that happened. Okay, well... Uh, there goes the zero deaths. That's 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 a thing. And now I gotta go all the way back and get myself. It did a creeper just explode again, dude? Where did that guy even come from? I was outside before I clicked record, just like fixing up the ground. That creeper came out of nowhere. It actually fell out of the sky. Okay, well I got my armor back, but now there's a gaping hole in my backyard. So this this really sucks. And I have no food. This is great. Okay, well let me put that on, and now I have to eat. Okay, well I was gonna say that we need uh, to get stone, but it's right here now. So I guess we get this right now there are so many creeper explosions and lightning what is happening okay just get in just get in what is this how do i am i going under it or what where am i digging to i thought there was a staircase here it is okay did i already get this i don't even remember okay this is where i ended up so we gotta go back up and we gotta get some stone asap i got my pickaxe thank god i put everything back in the chest i probably would have lost something and now we're just stuck here with three hearts for the rest of forever until i can actually get good food that's why we're getting stone though i'll show you guys in a minute why we're actually getting this i want to get enough to get a furnace and then i need enough to make something that is going to make our food a lot better so let's let's do this i definitely want a safe way to get underground because right now i i don't have that at all and and being above ground is probably the most dangerous thing I could do because uh, like you guys saw in the last one, I got rolled by some creepers and especially the one that blew up through the wall and made cobblestone in my castle. So, okay, actually, actually, I need that apple right there. I'm going to make an apple tree and it's going to be great. We're going to have unlimited apples and it's raining. Okay, just for audio's sake, I'm going to keep weather off, but otherwise I would keep it on. In my single player world, I figured out that it doesn't change anything, like nothing special spawns and right now there's no mobs anyway, so I'm just keeping it off. What is this tree? Oh. It's got jungle wood, okay. It'd be really nice if it had a cocoa beans. But all right, let's get this wood. We can get some more oak wood because that's the best wood to get because you can actually craft more with it. And then we got the stone. I'm pretty sure we got enough. We have like, yeah, we have 19 cobble. So that, that should be enough for what I want to make. Bro, I have mining fatigue because I'm hungry. <laughs> you gotta be joking. I need this new food fast. The new food that I'm gonna get is actually gonna heal me, which is huge. So that's amazing. Okay, we got the wood. We got the stone. How much daytime is even left? Okay, we still have a little bit. So I'm just gonna spend this time kind of making a safe way to get underground i guess because i need a safe way <laughs> what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna block off all of the entrances as fast as i can i'm gonna try to make it so then nothing can get in and the only problem is that there's so many trees over here and stuff is definitely gonna get in and i'm hungry again yay okay maybe if i just kind of make it so then nothing can jump up that would be something okay so i just have to make sure that nothing can get in through here i guess every other entrance should be fine i made like a moat off camera so then nothing can jump in and so then creepers would not blow up my walls because they would literally just let every mob in the universe into my castle. Dude, I have no food. I gotta get back inside. I can't even parkour, can I? Oh my god, I can. Block that off. Block that off. Okay, let's get up. It's getting dark right now. That's no bueno. Dude, I have like no food. Um, how am I gonna survive the night? I have nothing. I guess I have pork, but okay. I can't eat any of this. I have to make the furnace ASAP. Got that. Okay, please go. Go. I need to cook, I think, two of this. Okay, while that's cooking, let me just make sure that every Everything is secured. Okay, well, there's a cow right there. I want to kill that. Hey, buddy. Can't get through here, can you? No, you suck. Let's go. Oh, oh no. No. Wait, why? Why? Why did you spawn? Why did you spawn? Why did you spawn? Are you serious? Okay, well, I, I guess I'm dead. I, I, I guess I'll die. I can't do anything. My own castle is literally against me. Like, there's nothing that I could have done there. Like, I broke a stone brick. A normal... I'm gonna do it again. Watch this. It didn't spawn a silverfish. I broke the other one, and it spawned a silverfish. Like, how am I supposed to know which one spawns them? I literally can't break anything in my own house. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. Because, like, 30 of them spawn. I guess literally any block could potentially be a silverfish. But I just got super unlucky. Okay, well, at least now I think I can make the juicer. There we go. 
go finally okay so what this does is i put it there and then i put this here and then i get juice and it's better than just eating the actual fruit so now i get one hunger and i get health instead of just getting half a hunger and no health but i really don't think having a couple extra hearts is gonna make us survive longer there's still silverfish somewhere in the castle and they're gonna keep spawning more and i guess we could do a little bit of crafting before oh no that creeper was close no no get away all right you know what i'm blocking this off for now i don't even care i feel like a creeper is gonna blow up the bottom and that's just gonna ruin everything so you know what i'm playing it safe hello torch so like i was gonna say sunday the one of the original people who played this mod pack says that he allows magnet mode if you're doing this so i turn magnet mode on and pretty much what that does is it just makes items magnet towards you to help you out a little bit <laughs> so yeah that's all that does but it's really convenient so i'm keeping it on anyways but we do have enough to actually craft things so let's go i want to make a shovel head and there's something else that i want to make too so we're just seeing these and then we need sticks and then we can make patterns amazing and then what i want is i want the shovel head and i already have the axe head and i already have the other one so we can do this go in here put the axe head there actually since we only have two flint i'm actually gonna make something else so we can make a axe head and then we can make a shovel head and i should be able to make something that's really useful we can also put a stick in here and make a tool rod that's the last thing that we need i'm pretty sure and what i'm trying to make is a matic and this basically just combines a shovel and an axe and a hoe so you can farm with it you can break dirt faster and you can break wood faster so in reality i don't need my hatchet but i'm just gonna keep it just in case my hatchet's a weapon, but the matic is for actual tools. There's still a silverfish just swimming around on my floor. Amazing. I'm really surprised that any creepers haven't gotten in. Okay, I'm dumb. Why don't we actually cook food? Oh, no. Oh my gosh, that just blew up a lot of stuff. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go look. Okay, he just made a whole leg right there. He didn't actually get in. Wait, what did I just see? Oh my gosh, okay, there's a lot of zombies. <laughs> this mod pack is actually terrifying. I, I'm really sad that we died though. Like, there, there was literally nothing I could have done. That creeper came out of nowhere. Like, I was off recording for a good 20 minutes just like tidying everything up and getting food so then you guys wouldn't have to see all the boring stuff like that. That creeper was not there, trust me. <laughs> oh, something is breaking a bar. I can hear the sound of it breaking. What is happening? Who's there? All right, well, that's gonna do it for this episode hopefully you guys enjoyed my misery in this this horrible mod pack and as always if you want to see more then leave a like on it i would really appreciate it and let me know what i should do in the next episode i already have like set plans of what i can be doing but if you guys want to see something specific then i'll definitely do that first anyways i will see you guys in the next video have a good night